Hi guys, Ben here. Now I want to take you through a product that we've just released. It's our Velflex heat press temperature strips, okay? Now, it comes just like this, the plastic sleeve. What you'll have is a sheet of plastic stickers. Now, there's just one left on here. We've been doing some testing and, and printing and testing ourselves. Okay, this is a heat sensitive test strip. It's got a range of temperature in which the squares will go black as you reach that temperature. Great for testing the calibration of your press. If we set the press at 150 degrees, ideally we want to see the 149 square. We want to see it go dark, dark black, because then we know we've hit that 149 bracket. And I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So in this little pack here, pull out your test strips. We've also put some bits of plastic in there. That's our transfer plastic that we build our transfer on. Peel the sticker off stick it into the middle, okay? Just gives it a bit of a carrier to actually put into the press, okay, that's got to heat up. Now, something to know, if your base plate is not hot enough, if it's cold, then that's going to take a lot of the heat out of your top plate and you're not going to reach the temperature that you've set. So realistically, we want to have a bit of temperature in the base plate. It's the same as your pressing. You want to make sure that you've got heat in your base plate as well, okay? As you go in, it helps heat up the garment from beneath. Cool. Let's do that test press. Just get some heat in that base plate right now. Now you could give it sort of six, seven, eight seconds. Okay, cool. Pop that up, there we go. Now my press is on 149 right now. It is set to 150, so it is fluctuating a little bit. Um, given it's 149, I'm gonna say it's gonna be heating up a little bit. So let's do that press right now. 10 seconds is what we want. And what I'm expecting for it to come out like is there's three or four squares that I want to see are actually heated up. Now, as you can see right here, we've got those squares that have heated up now. Now, what we're seeing is that up to 149 degrees, those squares are, have turned black, telling me that I'm definitely getting the temperature that I've actually set. And this means, great, I can set 150 and I'm going to press at 150 or at 140, hopefully I'm at 140. If you set your press at 150 and you don't have that 149 square heating up, then it means you haven't got the temperature here to heat press your glue. It's not calibrated between the setting and here. So you might compensate to make sure that in future, you're either turning the temp up higher or making sure that you've got that heat in that base plate to make sure that you're really getting that heat in. Uh, vice versa, if you've got 150 set and it's heated up too many black squares, then you might be actually too hot here. And you might think, okay, I might reduce the setting down a little bit because what I'm setting, the actual heat element is hotter than what you've set. Guys, if you have any other questions about the heat strips, get in touch with us. They're available through Velflex and Vicon transfers.